Electroculture farming, also known as electroculture or magneticulture, is a form of sustainable agriculture that utilizes electric fields or magnetic fields to stimulate plant growth. This innovative technology has the potential to revolutionize modern agriculture and could help us meet the growing demand for food while minimizing our impact on the environment. Electroculture farming is still in its early stages of development, but there is no doubt that it has the potential to change the way we grow food forever. Electroculture farming is based on the principle that plants can absorb nutrients more efficiently when exposed to an electric or magnetic field. This theory was first proposed in the early 1800s, but it wasn't until the mid-1900s that electroculture farming began to be studied more seriously. In recent years, there have been a number of breakthroughs in electroculture technology, and farmers are now beginning to experiment with this new form of agriculture. How does electroculture farming work? Electroculture farming works by using electrical energy to stimulate plant growth. This can be done in a number of ways, but the most common method is to apply a current to the roots of plants. The current causes the plants to produce more growth hormones, which leads to increased growth rates. The electrical current can help to break down organic matter, making it more available for plants. This can help to improve the fertility of the soil. Electroculture farming can also be used to improve the efficiency of photosynthesis, which can further increase crop yields. There are many potential benefits of electroculture farming. For one, it could help us increase food production without needing to use more land or water. Additionally, electroculture farming could reduce our reliance on chemical fertilizers and pesticides, as well as help us conserve soil and water resources. Furthermore, electroculture farming could also create new jobs in rural communities and help us transition to a more sustainable form of agriculture. The potential benefits of electroculture farming are truly exciting, but we still need to do more research to fully understand how this technology works and whether or not it is viable on a large scale. Nevertheless, Electroculture farming represents a promising step forward in our quest for sustainable agriculture, and it is an exciting area of research that we will be watching closely in the years to come. What do you think about electroculture farming? Do you think it has the potential to become a mainstream form of agriculture? Let us know in the comments below.